Right, tip top, here we are. Where are we? I'm not telling you. You can't remember, can you? I don't know where we are, I'm not telling you, because remember, we're pike fishing now, as you can see. Winter months, snow's out. We're in, uh, we're in a place uh, just uh, south... No, northwest North of Sheffield. North of Sheffield, yeah. Northwest of Sheffield. Yeah, about seven miles. I'm not telling you where you are because we're pike fishing. Uh, if I told you that, then you might have some of the... Uh, Ethnic minority seeds. eating them. Yes, the Eastern Europeans yeah. coming in and uh, raping our fisheries, which we don't know, which we've got a big problem with that, as you know. Well, actually, they've done well, that. For those people around Sheffield who fished it before, yeah, there's boats on this lake. Some people might recognise it, some people might not. Majority of you won't. Uh, but it's mid January, it snowed last night. For the first time? Yeah. This year? Pike rods. I'm just sit sitting up. We've got young Tao with us, haven't we? Die hard, what Teo. What did you say, Teo, out in the snow? What did you say? What did you say? Bonner the douche. Bonner the douche, Rodders. Bonner the <laughs> douche. So, it's rig up. I've got, we did baiting. I've got lamprey, I've got sardines, and I've got mackerel. And we're going to rig them up. We're baiting up. Uh, bottom bait has popped up. As you can see. Uh, and I'm just turning around just to say hello, and it's me again, yeah, Big Carp Camo Carl. And doesn't he look Can like... Can catch carp, Big Carp Camo Carl. And doesn't he look like he's, he's dyed his hair? I've not Your dyed my hair, it's blank. natural, I promise you. I will swear. Anyway, back to Big Chris Thornton, like the chocolate toffee. And, and we'll catch you in a minute. Got me Big Rod, 375 Tesco. Yeah. You're going to put some bait on before you cast it out. I'm just going to run through the rig, what I've got here. On it. Right, let's have a look at the rig. Firstly, my rods are 375 test good. Uh, great for humping out uh, big dead baits. Yeah. The line I've got is called a 20 pound uh, sub line to 45 pound lead core. Yeah, I like fishing lead core. Running rig. As you can see, there's the running rig. You just try that again, you're a bit fast on that, go on. Running rig, because you've got to give pike line, if they feel any resistance, they'll spit your bait out. So there's the running rig on that, 20 pound wire trace, two semi barbless trebles, with a little pop-up ball there. Yeah, so that's just going to pop it up, what? Yep, foot and a half off the bottom there, we're just fishing in margins, through Rod Ren South, just off the shelf. Cause that's where they are. Some 40 pounders in here, allegedly. 30 pounders anyway. Right, let's get let's get rigged up. I've got a bit of a lamprey on this one. So the first bait we're putting on is the lamprey covered in blood and pike love them. So I've had a pike on lamprey myself, our yeah. kid. Have you been pike fishing before? Can't yeah, I've them? had uh, two or three pike in my time. Right, so we can put the barbed hook. They've got quite leathery skinny, so it's uh, so they're quite they don't fly off the hook. Oh, In fact, let's put them a little bit further down. Oh, like so, and then what I'm going to do is Chris Thornton's little tip, which I didn't know people. this. Some people might think, hang on, no, that's not right, because then the fish, when it shakes its head to rid itself of the hooks, if this is uh, stuck against the bait, it throws the bait, throws the hooks at the same time. But I like to do this. This is my own personal preference. A little cable tie instead of... A little cable tie on there. Around the bottom end of the fish, and it just aids in casting. Look at that! I never thought of doing that before. Old Grandan loves cable ties, don't he, Teo? Yeah. Grandad could come here. Yeah. Yeah. He, he won't come. Rig. It's not over 12 degrees. It's going to be popped up off the bottom like that, and again, that just keeps it all nice and flush and. Just the aids and assistance of the. the and, old, uh, and it's all right that it hangs like that. It'll pop up in the water, yeah. Pike will see it. Come along, we'll be able to smell it. 
And then the cage. Okay. Love lamprey. So that's it, ready to rock and roll. Running rig. But they might gonna, eat it while we're out. That's going to sit up off the bottom like that. What, so when the, the fish bites, that'll go forward and I'll it'll take it that way? It's mouth. Will it? I'll just hang it like it's mouth. It's only cable tie. The fish will probably come out of that cable tie. Are you, are you Don't they eat yeah? the fish? You're filming? Yeah. They Chris Thornhill, YouTube Lebian, just like the toffee chocolates. Right, first cast. We don't have to cast far here because it's just off the shelf. Quite deep then. Oh yeah. Yeah, you want to fall in it, don't you? So there we go. We got a we got a rod in water. In water. In pretty water. There we go. Right. No. Tell no. tell Chris how you say Chris Legend YouTube because he don't even know his own saying. YouTube Legend. What's his Chris name though? Want a YouTube Legend. Like the chocolate toffee. Come on, have a look at the little setup we've got here then, Carly. It's a little quite setup. Uh, uh, uh. What I've got here is Fox Micron PSs. I wrap round round there, like so. That clips on there. That turns on. Turn that on. That's on now. Yeah. When, yeah. That, when that, you get a bite. How come you've wrapped it round the... Uh... Post. Because it's got to sit directly under the reel like right, that. Right, okay. Otherwise it'll just pull through and then you pull right. it off. Then when you lift the rod, the alarm goes off. Little mercury tilt switch in there. So there we go, there's that one set up and then you've got a secondary bite alarm just to give you some indication because when it's windy you can't hear that one. Right. You can't hear the Fox Micron PS during the wind so I have a little secondary backup. I do have Delkims at home, but I've got no batteries for them. So oh yeah, because your other name is what? Screaming Delkims, you know what makes exactly. sense? Exactly. Yeah. Right, there's one rig out. <laughs> I can't believe we're fishy with Screaming Del Delkims with no Delkims. What's that all about? Screaming Fox PS. Micron PS Pike Alarms. You off can bike fox indicators. off, you can. <laughs> so there's one. Let's crack on then, get resting, then right. you can help me set my gear up, young well, I'll man. I'll tell you what, I'll let you have a couple of lampreys as well, so you're in with a chance as well, big okay, boy. Okay, good lad. All right, fella. All right. Don't call me fella, you know how I feel about that. All yeah, right, you're fella. called fella. Hello, greedy fella. You look like action man then, with eyes. Pike it, look at all that. Let me nicotine mints, so I can see myself. Oh, aren't I fantastically handsome? <laughs> right, let's get some fishing done. Right, so, that's Carlito, YouTube legend. What, well, we've just rigged up a little uh, sardine there on a dead bait with a pop-up. I've got to say, through all Thornton's bad points, the guy is not bad at making rigs. No. And he's come out with this absolute corker of an Pull idea. It, drop it down a bit so we can sit on the back on your yellow yeah, doodad. There you go. Right, what we've I, got... I, I'm yellow and he's orange. Right, what we've got here, we've got the, the pop-up on a bit of amnesia. There you go. But a £12 amnesia. Then, what I've put through the eyes... I put through the eyes, but drop it down a bit, fella, you can see it. There's a little cable tie, where is it? A little cable, cable tie. tie. I'll just turn it round for you. There yeah. you go. There you go. There you go. Little cable tie there. Little cable what tie through its eyes. What an idea that was. I think that's Just to keep that fantastic. popped up and then round its tail for the... And one round tail there. For casting. And then we've got it hooked in there. And there's the hooks. There's I'm just the thinking, hooks. looking at them hooks though, for the size of fish I catch, mate. It's not big hooks, but we'll see how we get on. And there we go. People might look at that and frown and say, well, when a pike shakes its head, it won't be able to shake the bait. Yeah, well, that's what we're going to have to live with. But either way, that would be great for casting. Right, get them out, mate. Let's catch some uh, Dick Van Dyke. Do I get a bit of sauce inside it? A bit of injection? Oh, yes, yes. Injection. Going to inject it with plate. a bit of oil. Roger that. Put the oil on the uh, fish to make it very sexy for daddy. Right. <laughs> You're wrong and people are looking at you. <laughs> people are looking at you. You're wrong and... <laughs> Normally you do daft things on video. Ow. Right, so so for you in. guys out there who like injections, this is how we're going to make it nice and sexy for daddy. This is pilchard oil, I've got it in a little squirty bottle. And, and what oil have we got here? Pilchard oil, pure pilchard, pilchard oil. oil. sucking it up into the syringe. We're just going to take about three mil. There we go. 
Don't drop that all over. The missus will go mad. Then we inject it. We're going to smack this bitch up. Stick some in its belly. Look at it oozing out. Oh, and it stinks, may I tell you. Look at that. There you go. Oh, sexy for those, for those fish. That'll be swanny. And that is ready to go. Let's cast it in. Go on then, my mate. Are oh. you uh, taking hold of the video, yep. son? There we go. Right, Carlito, where you go then, sunshine? It's all right, Tay. We're going to make bacon and egg banjos in a minute. Yeah, just a flick of the wrist, mate. You just want it just off the shelf. How far out will you say? Just a flick of the wrist, mate. That'll do us. No, you can always chuck your next one out or stick it out in bait boat. In a minute, mate. Let's get these rods out, then we can make some scoff. What scoff? Bacon and egg sandwiches. Or banjos, as we call them in the army. Why do they call them egg banjos? Because when you burst the yolk and it drips down your shirt, when you rub it off with your fingers, like this, it's like playing the banjo. Hence the name, egg banjos. What? Slackened it right off, right, yeah. Your bait runner right off, mate, and then... Then it can set the line because it needs to uh, least resistance. Screaming Delkims! It's got the screaming Delkims, we've got a fish! <laughs> Calito! No, What's occurring? Why uh... oh, have you got a silent Delkim? <laughs> 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 Yeah, I've had my batteries in 11 years, that's how much mine go off. <laughs> Pikus interrupt us. Back online, mate. Back online. Yeah, you're back online, aren't you, fellas? Didn't take too long for a quick changeover, that, did it? Roger that, get the bacon sarnies on the go, mate. Bish bash bosh, Bob's your teapot. Yeah, I've got two phones, mate. Right, we're having bacon bit butties. And my little stove there, my little... Uh, oh, my survival stove, that. It's Carlito. Last, last time you saw Carlito, we were living the dream in France, weren't we, pal? Yeah. Now we're freezing we're our titties off. Apart from you've now got a bird and I ain't. Yeah, well, we'll have to get you a woman, mate. So if any of you women watch this, fancy uh, slim, slim here. Yeah? <laughs> She's, She's dead. dead. Come on. <laughs> got the bait boat out. Just dropped my lamprey out with that. A good 75 yards out, see if that'll do any better, because we've had nothing up to yet. Carl had a tinker lump middle rod, but nothing materialised, did it? No, shame, shame. Say, I was just playing with uh, bait, though. Good on me lines. <laughs>